The overall goal of this protocol is to characterize the effects of seminal fluid proteins on the egg-laying behavior of a simultaneous hermaphrodite species. This is accomplished by first isolating individuals from a standardized lab culture, followed by dissection of target organs. Second, the sperm is collected and a treatment solution is made. After this, the snails are artificially inseminated. Then, they are put in a bioassay under standard conditions. The egg masses are collected, scanned, and put in individual vials to hatch. After a few weeks, the hatchlings are counted and scanned, after which, all the pictures can be analyzed using free software. This protocol can help answer questions about processes of sexual selection that are mediated via seminal fluid proteins. Because we are here looking at simultaneous hermaphrodites, we can also address whether these processes work in similar or different ways as they do in separate sex species. For this protocol, we use the Great Pond Snail Limnea stagnalis, which we maintain at VU University in Amsterdam. We use this species to study questions about sexual selection and reproduction in hermaphrodites. Because of its relatively large body size, it's experimentally very accessible. In addition, because it's used in many different biological disciplines as a model species, we know a lot about the basic biology of these animals. My name is Yumi Nakadera. I'm a PhD at the Department of Ecological Sciences in Fu University. I will demonstrate the following protocols. Let's get started. To perform a reliable bioassay, a lab culture is most commonly used to exclude lurking variables. Low copper water is kept at 20 degrees Celsius and the light dark cycle is 12 by 12 hours.